Righto guys, welcome back to another episode. This one's gonna be a fair cracker. What do you think? Oh my God, it's banger. <laughs> Trap yourself in, grab a frothy, and uh, we'll show you this place in about half an hour. Well, this is our first little stop. We're just driving in. It's called Creek Foreshore Camping. It's on the Marucci River. Um, yeah, it's just a, a private hip camp property. It's beautiful and green. The water's right here. That must be like a little creek, part of the... Um, Ridgey River, but anyway, we'll, we'll go and find a park and, um, or a camp and we'll show you what this joint's all about. Me and Beck the other day uh, unbolted the boat loader off the roof of the Norwell and we're ducking down to Dean and he's going to throw a rooftop tent on it. Say good day to Dino, how are you mate? Good yourself, mate. <laughs> good. Officially? Handshake. Officially, we've met. How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, he's at Markula on the sunny coast. We're down here on a bit of a trip. We've got a bit of life admin to take yeah. care of. Hitting a few hip camps on the way as well, but I'm going to drop the big 200 off with Dean. He's going to put a bush company tent on top. Yeah. I'll leave the GoPro with him. Uh, he can just show you a bit of a time lapse of it going on. And then I'll give you a full rundown when we, we head up the beach one day. It's um. It's pretty bloody exciting, but it's gonna come out a treat. I reckon it will, mate. Um, it is the AX2017, so it is the pretty much the premium tent in our range. All right, Sweet. I'm gonna leave it with him, and uh, I'll come back and show you in a couple Let's of hours. Get to it. Thanks, mate. All right, a couple of hours later, and check it. Have a look at this thing on top there. Where are you, kids? Up here. How's it going? All right. Hi. Hi. Great. Are you gonna stay in there while we travel? Oh uh, sure. Yeah. Beauty. Love you, nice, eh? It's good, eh? <laughs> hey, Thank thanks, mate. Appreciate You're it. You're more than welcome, man. Hey, that looks unreal. <laughs> All right, so I think Beck, we've learned a valuable lesson today, have we? Yes, we have. What's the lesson? Always shut your roof patches. <laughs> no, I thought someone, haven't. haven't I said that before somewhere along the way? No. no? I always do it. I always shut the roof patches if we're leaving for the day. Can you hold hang on, hang on, have a look. Have a look at this. Here it is here. She's getting cranky because she left the hatches open. But look at this big storm coming. Here's the van. It's um and she left all the roof hatches open. Even the one above the bed too, I think. Yeah. I'm a bit worried though. This is um this is sorry to cut you off. This is um our little hip camp for the night, but I'm a bit worried. If it rains or not, if we're going to be able to get out of here on this yeah, grassy paddock. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we'll swing in here. There's Vanny, and we'll show you around. Uh, I'll give you a look at the top of this car too, properly. It's bloody nice. Oh, ours isn't open, thank God. Oh, just the kids. Just your kid. You, just your beds are wet, kids. Oh. What? <laughs> How dare you? You need the key, mate. The beds are under Jack's cover, so. Oh. She gets so grumpy when she's wrong. I love it. She keeps stirring her. Oh. oh my god! Whoa, that's amazing! Somebody loves a rainbow! Look at that rainbow! Oh my god! Look at it! Where we just lived through! Oh, it's right over the whole thing! Ah, oh, there you go, righto. This is going to be quite the epic storm front coming through, I reckon. Can you see that behind us? Look at that! It's like a rainbow the whole way across. Yellow! Is that Oh, it's killer! Look at that! Whoa. Whoa, you there? I'm gonna set this camera up here. I'm trying to take a photo of this lightning, but I can't get it. So if I leave this GoPro down here, you might be able to see some in the background. It's pretty gnarly. Morning, there I is. <laughs> uh, why am I making a coffee out of the ute, you say? Well, I got up for sunrise to get a few photos and stuff. And then Beck always blows up the if I crank the coffee machine up at 
5.30. You literally just pour it straight out of the thing into the bag until it fills up and then let it drip through. Long black. Mm, there you go, sir. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're fluffing around. Let's hit the road. Yeah. Get it out! Drop it in the comments if you disagree, but the Bruce Highway is probably the worst road in Australia. 100%. <laughs> it is a shocker, mate. Wow. What do you reckon about Gunner Park? It's cute. It's um, actually Halloween weekend, so they've got all Halloween decorations up, which is really cute. Ooh! Spooky! Hey, Bezzy, what do you think of Gunner Park? Good. <laughs> you didn't know it's what to say. It's Halloween decoration. <laughs> hey, we just checked in. Old mate Greg's an absolute legend. Got some firewood for 15 bucks. There's a dam here you can swim in. Hey, and hey, what time was the, the animal feeding? Four o'clock. Four o'clock, but you got to wear what? Shoes. Shoes. Shoes, because oh, there's alpacas. We don't have shoes. Oh, you joking. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> no, he said we could wear thongs. Oh, right, our thongs are oh. good. Uh, anyway, so the dam's here, and it's all sort of free camp style set up. So you're going to roll through the, the track here, and it goes about 300 metres back in the bush. So up in there. Lollipop. There you go. nothing in the dam. Nothing that bites your toes. No eels, no fish. There's red corn there, And there's kayak. Oh, did you say that? Yeah, kayaks, kayaks. are free. Kayaks. Kids love kayaks. Okay, I'm taking right. the big long one. Hey, okay, I'm going to perch myself up on that hill there. A glass of vino. Oh, take my little chair. Okay. Do we bring deck chairs? Uh, yes, actually, yeah. All right. Sweet oh. as. Hang on to that. We're going to go and find a campsite up in the bushes here. There's a good one here, but I don't know if we want the very first site Dad, that when so everyone strange. comes in, that you're the first person they drive past. So we might have to go for a spin and see what we can find. Hey, just like that, mate, we are set up at Gunner Park. We'll go for a walk around in a second. That's all we need to do today. Drive a few chairs out, get a campfire ready, hold that. But you know what? I've got to show you this, jump out. I'm going to give you a full rundown on this keg setup pretty soon, but I'm going to hold you in suspense. But until then, I'll show you probably the Australia's world's worst beer pour. I don't know. <laughs> I think the first one is going to be average. Hang on. Slow it down a bit, slow it down, son. Oh, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, Roo. You watching this? You watching this? You watching this? Hey! Thank you very much. Got a pale ale, a lager, a couple of rum tins in there. Cheers to that. Good job, Rui. Thanks. <laughs> Check it. Look at how much space we got. Bush, 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 damn bush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, you nearly got copped an eyeful, mate. I was coming in to see how the squeeze is, and she had the pants down around the hey, ankles. <laughs> lucky, lucky you're not seeing the bottom half. Mate, I thought it was my birthday. Hey, um, anyways, what do you reckon a gun up? fantastic little part like if you're after that real campground nature experience it is bang on we've only been here five minutes yeah i know but just looking around it's got a nice really relaxed vibe and yeah. they've it's just the little touches for kids that really make it for me so they've got like these trees with little rock climbing things on they've got like little ninja what do you call those ninja, yeah, ninja ropes courses. ninja rope courses and there's even little stuff for little track, little tops yeah yeah and we're about to go and use the kayaks and swim in the dam so yeah it's a really nice little place. It is nice. And the weather is banging. Banging. Mm. All right, time for a swim. Who's going to kayak first? Are you going to kayak? I'm, I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah I'll give it a go. Yeah. Bill is a king in a kayak. He is, yeah. Mm. This is always good for Australia's Funniest Home Videos. It's not. It is. I've, always, I've said it before, but if that show still existed, we would have won a few times. You ready? <laughs> Don't disappoint the audience, mate. <laughs> oh, you're getting a bit tough with yourself. Are you sure? 
Anyway, how good is this? It's like, just, yeah. I reckon it took you, with a, with a bung ankle, about 25 seconds to walk down here. Yeah, it was pretty quick. So, on good mm. feet, you get here in about 10. Mm. And it's just here. How good's that? It's lovely, I've got my glass of... Oh yeah, know. lovely wine glass too, by the way. I know. Hey, do you want to tell pe people a story? What happened to your other two that I bought you? How did they break? Um, just human error. User error. <laughs> yeah, not, <laughs> not human. User. <laughs> being, you're back being the user. Uh, anyway, we look at this. The kids, I said kayaks, but they found a canoe. Oh, here we go. I think it's a bad idea that, that Charlie gets in with them. Yeah, it's going to end up in a fight. Don't worry I about that. I don't capsize. Yeah. Oh! All right, anyway, I'll show you this. This is the dam, the kayaks, and then over here, there's the animal feeding. So, anyway, oh, what did I tell you about that? Uh, look at this. Yep. Oh, no, there's a hole in at the front. Oh, no, it's sinking. There's literally a hole at the front. Okay, guys, we need to go back. There's no, just paddle. No, it goes back. If you ever wanted to know if our kids fight, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna end in tears, mate. Well done, Jack. You're killing it. Well done, sweetie. Hey, tonight's dinner is brought to you by um, all our dirty dishes for the day in the background. Beck's gonna kill me for doing this, but I'm not doing the dishes before I cook because it's just I don't know. I can't be <laughs> can't be bothered. Anyway, she hates it. Um, let's kick off. Tonight's dinner is beef stroganoff. No, it's not. Let's kick off again. It's a uh, venison stroganoff. So this venison is from the high country of Victoria. What I'm gonna do is slice it up fine, and then we're gonna add in some bacon. So I call it like a venison bacon stroganoff. I've cooked this before, and it is delicious, and the kids love it. Uh, a couple of onions, some sour cream to put it at the end and stir it through, some beef stock powder, and a couple of these. Um, Maggi stroganoff things. I've tried a few different ones, whatever's I can find at the time, doesn't matter. As long as you've got the stroganoff mix, it's the go. And then a heap of mushies. Happy days. So you want to know the special ingredient, or the secret ingredient? I'll tell ya, makes all your cooking better. You ready for this? <laughs> Black rat. <laughs> Just make sure you only have one while you're cooking, or anything can happen. Oi! Hey. Sunset Cricket, rip it in, Paul yeah. Rifle. Hey, what's your cricket name? Who? DJ. DJ? DJ Boo. DJ Boo. I said cricket, not party. <laughs> Whip it in! <laughs> oh, he got smoked too. He got hit for four, DJ Boo. You ready to show us sunset, mate? So pretty. Oh! Check it. Wow, hey. We well, stoked that fire Beautiful up for us, lads. Oh, Get them marshmallow coals going. Oh, yeah. Get this. <laughs> My uh, venison bacon stroganoff should be on Master Chef or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes? <laughs> Wait, how cool are these horses? They're so calm and nice. They're just like up for a scratch. It's like seven in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got no food for you. Hey? Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's keen. Oh, yeah, he's the boss. How bears you feed this one? So, who's this one over here? So, that's Thor. Thor? Yeah, he's four years old. And then this is Hunter, and he's 20. Then there's Ruby, she's one, and she's actually the daughter of Betty, and Betty's eight. Cousin? Sure. Go for it. 
put your hand out, Benzie. Yeah. <laughs> You're just grabbing the seeds that you're dropping. Oh, okay. You want to feed them? Yeah. Um, I want to feed them. Come closer. Come closer. They won't hurt you. Yeah. Come closer. Yeah. Come closer. <laughs> That's it. They won't hurt you. They won't hurt. Watch that ear shake. <laughs> wow, good one. That's gold. Look out, don't stand in front. Billy, look out, Jack. Go, yeah, Bill. Oh, good one. Good throw. Go, hey, Jack. Yes. Right. See you later at Gunner Park. Hello. <laughs> Licky start where we're going. Hello? Barham Heads. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if we, knew, if we knew how good this place mm. was at Gunner Park, we would have stayed a few more nights. It's really pretty little spot and the owners are absolutely lovely. And if you book directly with them too, you don't get your hip camp fee, just a word of warning. This is the most important addition <laughs> that you can't forget when you leave home. All right, hey, I'll put it on the bench here on this table and I'll show you how we've installed it because I had so many questions about where do you leave your coffee machine, uh, what is it, how do you use it, all that. So I'll give you a quick rundown over this out, but let's start with the install. Have a look here. What I did when we got this, I pulled the top drawer out and I put two stainless eye bolts through that are real long. So they go through and then there's some big washers and lock nuts on the bottom side of the bench and that bolts that to that, right? So all I did was sit that in between, on the bench, mark out either side, and put the bolts in. Yeah, I'll show you how it works. And we've used this, we used it all on our going south trip. Mm. Um, and it's a heavy machine. I reckon it's got to be close to 15 kilos. I think it might be 12 or something. But anyway. Ugh. You should have a look at that, mate. Anyway, I know I'm weak, but look at that. It slides directly in there. Look at that. Now what we did do, if you notice, the power point is through, uh, the perfect height. We got that done during the build because the last van, or most vans, have the power points down a bit lower. Uh, and it was a bit of a pain in the bum. But anyway, so that plugs in here. Uh, but I'll show you this. This is what we use, because I find these the best option. These are a um, front runner strap. I'll put a link in for you because they're hard to find, but these have got like a stretchy bit inside here. See that? So that's really cool. And then you've also got a, uh, an adjusting thing for tightening it and at either end are two carabiners or clips now this is all we do so let's go we go one clip through here like very technical it's very technical but i mean it works. keep it simple stupid cross there like that this one see so loosen the strap go all the way down to this one then you grab this fella and you pull the strap. See how it's because it's got that flexible bit in it, it doesn't bite into the machine. It's soft, it's padded, and then that's tightened. You don't have to reef on it too much. Look at that. Mm, it's not going good. anywhere. Have we done corrugations with? Oh, not too much, but I mean, it's no. not It's not going to bother it because I've got big washers through this bench top. The bench top's this thick, right? So it's a, about an inch and a bit thick. There's plenty of it, plenty of purchase. And then, like I said, you're not really putting that much weight on it. You're only you're just holding it down onto those bolts. Would so you leave it, it on there for corrugations? Or would. would you put it on the ground? No, I'd leave it there because it's got its own rubber feet anyway. The only thing I would take out is like oh, take yeah. these out and put them in the drawer. And um, I'd also take the drip tray out mm. and put that in the sink or the drawer because that will rattle out. But um, normally we just leave it as is, like so. Put the grip handle in here. There you go. Ready to Actually, go for a coffee we, and a quick brew. After we travel, this, uh, oh, you can't pull it out, but the thing that lives in there often sort of falls out. So when we travel, we keep the group handle in it, just obviously yeah. keeps it in situ. Yeah, that thing. It's just that, that's what tamps it. So mm -hmm. anyway, I'll show you this uh, at a cool little campsite. I'll give you a coffee machine rundown on how we make a morning brew. Because it's, um, we did a lot of research into these things. We did. And uh, it's been by far the best coffee we've had on the road. All right. There you go, that's it. That's how you mount the coffee machine. Super easy, you can do it in any van. We're lucky we got a four wheel drive, mate. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Here we go, the campsite's in there, somewhere.
All right, fill everyone in. Why are you going to drive, mate? Because we figured out you can't shut the gate until you're halfway through this crossing. I don't want to get my feet dirty. <laughs> Good on you. Hey, how precious does she want to be? Right, I, I just, um, it's all super hard in here. I wouldn't be too worried. It's super hot water too. It's all mucky. But the campground is in that way somewhere on the beach. Right, I do. Up you go. Hey, whoop whoop, I'll tell you when to stop. Hold up there. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? I don't want to get my feet dirty. Are you coming to the driver's side? No, you can drive. It's not even muddy, mate. No, it's hard dreaming. to Right, I have at her. The weather here is that bloody good. Mm. Hey, did you figure out what this place is called? Um. No? Nah? All right, I'll just drop it in below. We'll look it up on the hip camps thing later. But it's only, you go drive straight into Burham Heads. We've never been here before. It's actually unreal, mate. Like Burham Heads is such a sleepy old fishing town. Beck's already been on the realestate.com, check it out. Oh, I actually <laughs> literally, as I was driving through town, I was on uh. there. So um, we're going to pull up here and we might even have to stay an extra night. The weather looks mint. Uh, we're going to be pretty much beach beachfront. Uh, and we'll, we'll tell you all about it when we get in here. But it's called Burham Shores Beachfront Campground. Nailed it. All right. I better, um, I better get off the side step before Beck takes me out on a tree. Oh, no. Oi. All right. Number two, water crossing. Check this one out. Oh. Do you reckon you'll be able to handle this? Without a doubt. <laughs> She always says that and then peeks out. I do not. Well, this one's alright. Really good. Have a look at it. Hanging out the window. Yeah. Oh, they're super rocky. You don't have to worry about it. Here we go. It's a river. You're going to water across the Mersey. Hey, just like that, we are set up here at Burham Heads, mate. Holy hell. All right, I'll take you for a bit of a walk around later on. I'm gonna go for a swim with Jacko right now. We're gonna have a bit of lunch, but I just wanna see Becky Boo and say, Beck, what's your first impression, Yeah, mate? it's absolutely stunning. Oh, <laughs> check out the door Fantastic. views. Fantastic. What is yeah. this? It's got a real um, oh tropical God. vibe to it. It is, it's a lovely honestly. Spot. You know how I get really excited when you find a spot that you're like, you know, I was expecting it to be nice, but not like paradise nice. Mm. This is bloody insane. It? Oh, it's just so funny when you like you do your research and I just wanted to find a spot between Gympie and Bundaberg and just, Boom. yeah it's just great. And the caretaker mate. What yeah a legend. legend. Yeah. Is it, mate? <laughs> oh, me and the lads on kayaks. Go, son. Have a race. Have a race. First one to get past me wins. Get an extra ice cream. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. You both get an ice cream. Actually, I, you know, it's a tie. That gets beat too. All right, hey, Mick's got a, um, a little buggy here and he just come and parked it up. Said, oi, take the kids for a run. So we're gonna go for a blat. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. You reckon Dad knows how to drive this thing? Yeah. You sure? It's exactly like a car. All right, are you ready? We'll put her in drive. Let's go. Oh. Ah! Dad, oh. you went back. Went the wrong way. Hang you on. Went on purpose. <laughs> All right, now, let's go. Yeah. Can I drive? Oh, oh. Can you drive? Yeah. No I drive way. a car on the beach. Not that hard. <laughs> Look at the mud on your face. <laughs> Billy's turn. Yeah. How good are you at driving, Bill? Better than you. Oh, 
let's go straight through. On the left. Stay on the right. Yep. Yep, I got it. I got it. All right, who's next? Me. Rooster, jump in, bro. Oh. Righto, strap in. Legends. Hey, Let's go, Roo. Oh, I got this. Oh, 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 oh. look out. Now we're in trouble. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the speed demon behind the wheel now. you got the glasses on as well. Yes. Evil Knievel. Is that your name, Evil Knievel? Yes. Yes? All right, what, are you, sure what is your race buggy name? Come up with a cool uh, name. I don't know. You don't know? Striker! Lightning Jack? Yeah, Lightning. What was your race buggy name, Bill? What race I don't know, make up a race name for you. Come on! Bolting Billy. Oh, Bolting Billy, good one. Alliteration. Righto, Bezzy. Slap her into gear, let's go. Ah! Uh, Charlie's probably the craziest driver we've got. <laughs> Who's the best? Me! Yay! <laughs> Swing in here. Mm. <laughs> Tonight is an absolute treat, mate. These are called green chicken curry and vegetable skewers. Can you believe that? Did well, you shish that kebabs. Up? I just made that up right there. Mm. Proud of me? Uh, anyway, what you do, come in here. That's a spare chicken one, so that'll be a good one. But on the Weber sticks, chicken, sweet potato, onion, eggplant, capsicum, and repeat. Put them on the skewer, rub it in green curry sauce, or green curry um, paste. Uh, paste, that's the one. Let them sit for a couple of hours in the fridge. Then, this is lately, well mate, this is my, oh, it's the wrong one. <gasps> oh my God, sorry. You told yeah, me it was I, truffle. Yeah, I forgot, sorry, I bought the wrong one. Oh. You buy the truffle infused oil it's version really of this, good. and it makes everything like taste like a diamond. Shh, oh, five star restaurant. Mate. <laughs> anyway, anyway, put a bit of this on so it doesn't stick to the grill too much. <whistles> then I'll take you outside. We'll throw it on the fire. I've got some coals going. I've got a fire right on the foreshore of the beach. It's ridiculous. Have a look. Have a look. Take yeah. him outside for a look. Hang on, no, I'm showing him the sunset. Oh, pretty this. nice. <laughs> Over the water. Mm. Stunning. All right, and I'll this, my friends, um, let me get a set of tongs. We got tongs? Yeah. Here we are. Here we go. Here you go. Check it, check it, mm. check it. <laughs> Said it before, I'll say it again. You're a lucky woman, dear. Eye roll. <laughs> the constant eye roll. I love it. Check this. Look out this way. Hey, righto, first time for the new addition to the top of the 200, so you would have seen me drop in on the sunny coast and see Dino. And now um, I put the bush company on top. Hang on, I'll turn this speaker down. Jack and the boys can't help themselves. They want to sleep in it tonight. So Jack's going to pop it up and park it on the beach, mate. And uh, it'll be the first night for the rooftopper. So, righto, get up there really we unclip it. I haven't even set it up yet. He was with me and Dino showed him, so we'll see if the boys can do it, eh? Oh, it's, there we go, muscles. It's coming up, it's coming up. Yes. Oh, it's on. Yeah, let it go, let it go. Grab that strap. What do I do? It's pulling more. That's it, let it go all the way. Sweet, that's it. Really? Yeah, then grab that bungee cord and pull it down. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the view's going to be pretty special. Want to sleep in the rooftop tonight? Got my coffee. Might join the boys. All right, I'm just going to take a little moment of appreciation to um, just thank my beautiful wife for being such an amazing wife and mother and partner and cook and. Keep going. 
This is amazing. <laughs> Keep going. I'm loving this. Uh, I don't know why I said that anyway. <laughs> Just mainly just want to appreciate this campsite, mate. Look at oh, this it's is so good. Like that's the bad view. Yeah. I'll wait till I turn you around. The kids are having dinner inside. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this is me oh. and Beck. Hang on. I'll come back to you. Oh. Oh. And go. Mm, no, I was just saying to Justin before, like this is why we travel and this is why we seek out new campsites and, and go caravanning because I don't know, it's just mate. This is just beautiful. It's the vibe, as the great Daryl, good, as the great Daryl, 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 oh <laughs> Daryl Kerrigan God. said, it's all about the vibe. Oh, did he? I think so. Is that from the castle? Mm, I don't know. The vibe of the joint. Mm. Old Daryl Kerrigan. Good. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I got a bit distracted and um, a little bit of a crispy green curry shish kebab, but I still reckon it's going to taste alright. Come on, back. Morning from paradise, mate. It's about the best way to describe this joint. I've been up for a little bit of a look at sunrise. Check this. Wowee. It's so nice, man. I'm hanging to go in and make a coffee, but I don't know how much trouble I'll get in if I go and wake up back. Good morning from the little rooftop paradise up there. Hang on, I'll come up here and show you the boys. Unzip it, mate. Unzip it for me. I can't see you. How did you go? Great. Did you um, sleep all right? Where's your zip? Up the top there? Pure. There you go. Oh, I'm a bit devoted that they got to sleep in it before I did. Uh, Go on, undo him. Uh, there we go. Fold that back. Hey! Where's, the, where's Billy Boy? Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> so did you actually sleep well or what? Yeah, we slept great. It was oh. amazing. I thought they would have been scared, mate, on their own. You lads have never done this before. Slept outside of the caravan. Yeah. <laughs> Let me in. Well. Let me in. Yeah, in a swag, but not on your own. Yeah. You better not have sandy feet. Oh, no, I'm trying to keep my sandy feet outside. Hang on. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a cool view. There's one way. Here's your sunset or oh, sunrise view. Oh. oh, well. I wish I slept in here with you lads. <laughs> Yeah. It's cool. It was great. Hey, did you brush your teeth last night? No. Oh, we forgot. You've got horrible breath. <laughs> you feral. <laughs> uh, all right, what do you want to do today? Um, cook pancakes. Yeah. Cook pancakes. We can. We bought the stuff yesterday. Yeah, I was meant to cook them yesterday, but we had no flour. We forgot the flour, but we got some at Food Works. And guess whose fault it was? Mum's? Yes. Yes. Lucky. <laughs> you know what? It must be epic weather. I can all I can hear is boats sending it out the reef, and it's flat. Look at that. There's not a breath of wind. Oh, can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. That's just boats after boat going out the reef. Oh, so keen. One day we'll be out there too. One. <laughs> There's Vanny. Say hi, Vanny. Hi, Vanny. Wake up, Mum, so I can have a coffee. All right, pancakes, coffee. Beach day, love it. Boom, fist bump. Welcome to Shed Sessions, mate. Hey, this is gonna be a little space where I do some tech stuff, some product stuff, a few DIY install segments, uh, and just slot them in throughout a few episodes while we're sort of kicking around Base Camp Queensland, all right? So this is the shed, mate, that we've got at Base Camp Queensland. Got the gym in one corner, a fishing table in the other. I've got a beer fridge, toolbox, uh, and a little workbench over here. And normally the tinny lives in here as well. Welders over here. So I've got lots of little jobs to do now and then and I can show you some more involved technical stuff, but I also want it to be a little bit um, 
interactive. So if you guys want to know something a bit more about stuff, I can do it in here. I can pull stuff down, I can show you tech specs. I've got a little space to do that now. So I reckon that's pretty cool. So if you've got anything more you want to know, drop it in the comments and I can, um, I can try and throw it in a few videos upcoming. Anyway, what I want to show you today is Australia's uh, biggest portable air con. How good's that? So I've been using it for about a month or so. I've taken it away, I've had it in the ute, I've had it in the rooftopper, I've put it in the caravan to see how it works. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't got an aircon in your camper trailer, or you want one for your swag or your rooftopper or your shipping container or something like that, mate, they are bloody good. So anyway, come over here and we'll show you all about it. Oh, you can see me. Yes, all right. Well, this is the unit. It's an aircon. Yep. This is the portable aircon unit here, this one just on its own, right? So it comes as a fully self-sufficient unit with a power cord. You can plug that into an AC outlet and the aircon will work straight up, no dramas. You just got a few buttons for modes and controls for temperature and fan speed on here, which I'll show you. And in the box comes ducting for exhaust and cold air and a drain hose for the condensation caused by the cooling process out the back. Anyway, that will work off a power point. If you want to use this thing off grid, you will get the extra add-on battery. Now this here has a big plug. Uh, the unit slides on top, click, and then uh, the plug plugs into the side of it. Now you can recharge it via a solar panel or via a car charger in here, uh, or you just plug the 240 volt cord in and that will charge the battery up as well, right? So on top here, all you have to do is press the power button, press and hold that, there you go, ding. And it'll start automatically, right? But over here, you've got an intelligent sort of control dial. And if you spin this one here, uh, up and down, it makes your fan speed go up and down. And then if you press the mode button, that changes it from either fan or cooling. All right, so we want cooling, we'll flick it back to cooling. And then this one here is a temperature button. So you press the temperature dial, and then you can up and down the temperature of your air con. So if we crank it to 16, and then um, we go full fan speed, it also tells you how much power you're using as in what's left on your battery. So when you do crank it at full cooling mode and all the way down to 16 degrees, it'll last four hours, all right? But if you get the app on your phone, which I'll grab now, uh, you can hit eco mode and it'll take you to like 12 hours, it's gold. So all you have to do is download that and uh, connect it via Bluetooth to your, um, to your unit here, open him up, and then you've got all your controls as well on your phone, all right? Uh, so you've got your fan here, you've got fan or cool mode, and then this one here is what you want, eco mode. It also tells you up in the top corner your uh, battery level, right? So if we hit eco mode, it'll go into that. What it does is it, it cycles between cooling and fan to keep your temperature right, but it saves your battery power. So you can go from a four hour battery life up to like a 12 or a 14 hour battery life, which will get you through the night. That is the EcoFlow Wave. It's um, a 4,000 BTU aircon and it can cool down like a six square meter space in about six to eight minutes, all right? That's the tech specs on it. What else can I tell you? Uh, it works bloody well. I've had it in the rooftop tent. I'll throw in a few pictures. You probably would have seen some. Uh, it cools it down super fast. And if you're up north and you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the Kimberley, uh, the Darwin, North Queensland, uh, through the hotter months, mate, you're gonna want something like this to make your trip enjoyable. So anyway, there is, um, I'll put some dates down below. It's that time of the year where it's like Black Friday sales and stuff. So there'll be links in the video description and uh, some dates here. They're pretty good deals at the moment. So if you need one, trust me, they actually work a treat, all right? So check them out. Shed session number one, done and dusted. Let us know in the comments what I can do for you next time. Cheers, guys. Righto, that's it, mate. We're back in the car. Quick little trip away, mate. Some life admin, a few hip camps. Mm. And now uh, it's a few hours drive home and we will um, park up. Kids can go to school for the week and we'll plan our next little adventure. Can't wait. You can't wait? I'm, I'm actually a bit sad we're going home today. <laughs> I'm very sad. Oh, when life gets in the way of having too much fun. Yeah. Oh, I think we're finally starting to feel normal, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> this is what... This is like it. We're in a natural <laughs> habitat here. <laughs> oh, anyway, comments, questions, feedback, guys, down below. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're gonna do a few of those over uh, the next few episodes. It's just gonna be busting away for a couple of strike missions out of Base Camp Queensland. Yeah. Uh, a few fishing missions, a couple of rooftop tent jobbies, and um, yeah, just show you a bit around central Queensland. We love it. See you kids. <laughs>
headphones, iPads. It's like the only time they really get their iPads is in the car. So as soon as we get in the car, they're like so excited. It's kind of like anything over an hour is our unwritten rule. Yeah, it All is. Right, iPads, headphones, let's it's, go. And it makes our drive peaceful. And Justin and I can actually have a conversation. You can finally listen to John Williamson in the front. Oh, no, we not. <laughs> See ya. I reckon we should get Beck to do her own cooking video. What do you think? Do you reckon it'd be beneficial for you guys to see Vegemite on toast? <laughs> she hates it, I always tell her, mate. You married a comedian 15 years ago. Why don't you laugh? She still doesn't laugh. <laughs>